Welcome to another Planet Zoo live stream. I hope everyone is having a lovely day for whoever's joining us. We did start a little bit earlier today, so I'm really thankful for everyone who's come and join us on a different time. But as you can see, I am not alone today. I have another guest here with me. Hello, Philippa. If uh, a lot of you may have met Philippa before on a stream, She's joined Tim once, um, I think around twice yeah, already a now. Of times, yeah. So you may see her before and a familiar, familiar face. But for everyone who's meeting you for the first time, can you quickly just introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm Fenifer and I am an animation programmer at Frontier. And I'm here today to teach you all about the deep lore behind yes. the badgers of badgers, yeah. frog, frog, frog and snake. <laughs> frog, snake <laughs> and frog snake, or frog and snake, snake whichever. And frog emporium. You, yeah. yeah. So I've heard about this, of course, and I've watched the stream before mm -hmm. about the badgers and badgers and the deep lore behind the badger. Is it the badger? King or the Badger Lords, the Badger, the Badger, Badger Lords, Lords yes, and all these other, head. yeah, very and there's, there's very deep lore which we'll get into. But before that, let's just see who's in chat. So we have Crispy, Tater Tot, hello, uh, Joelle, Osric, hello. Thank you, all the mods in chat, for joining us today. Heather G is here, of course. We have Theason90, we have Useful Water, hello, and we have Aqua, Guppy. Welcome, welcome. We also have Planet Zoo in chat. Thank you, Planet Zoo, for always joining us in these streams. <laughs> um, Gaming Dan and Sapalo and Odis Odicus. Hello, hello, Decoy, Claudia. Wow, we have quite a few people in chat. Derek, Planet Becky, Wixie. Hi, Wixie. And Scandal, Yelby, Snacks. Thank you so much for everyone who joined us from YouTube and on Twitch. It's great to have you guys. And we're going to be doing a really fun challenge zoo today. Oh, yes. With Philippa, um, which is called the, as we said, Badgers, Badgers, Snake and Frog <laughs> Emporium. Yes. It's one of the best names I've heard, honestly. <laughs> it's very, very unique, I must say. And if you guys can guess what sort of things are in this zoo, <laughs> Um, take Get a fun. guess. <laughs> it's probably going to be some frogs and probably some snakes and a mostly, of like, yeah, yeah, mostly and frogs some badgers and in there. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to quickly let you guys know, I'm sure you've heard the really cool news about our new Grasslands Animal Pack, which is coming in the 13th of December, which is next Tuesday. So it is available on Steam right now to wishlist. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go wishlist on Steam now. If um, one of our mods can give us the link to the Steam page, that would be really helpful. But yeah, definitely go check that out. And we've been doing the animal reveals over on our social media channels. So definitely come follow us over there and chat with us over there as well. But yeah, other than that, I just want you to introduce our Challenge Zoo today. Oh, Give us a little yes. rundown of what we can expect or what chat's going to expect. Okay, as well. so, right. So, we have to like talk through it before we actually go to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give us a little backstory. We need the, a little sneak peek of the lore. Right, okay. We're... So, the, the Badgers and Badgers Frog and Snack Emporium started off exclusively as a Frog and Snack Emporium. Yeah. And then we kind of expanded a little bit. We thought, I'll get a bit more creative with the building. And we started building um, a medieval castle, <laughs> which is the home to the Badger Lords, mm. right? There's some deep lore here. Yeah. Um, the Badger Lords have ruled this land for a very, very long time. 
Um, they've not been unopposed entirely. There is another castle, uh, oh. the keep of the renegade Badger Lords, oh, who wow. rejected the rule of the Badger Lords, oh. and went and did their own thing, and so they have a separate castle oh. so next to the main castle. So we have like two kind of houses that yeah. are kind of fighting for the, the rightful yeah. throne. I guess. Oh, okay. So I didn't know there was this kind of, you know, war warish type of the war between the, the ancient the war. wars of the yeah. battle lords. Oh, yes, yeah, like um, not many War of the know. Roses type thing. Not many people know. It's not a story many have heard, but no. it's very important. I see. Okay. Well, that's really cool. I think we'll definitely find out a lot about that today hopefully and, and we'll like, see. Oh my god, what yeah. have I signed up for? Do you remember for? what what you left off on when you when you finished it last so time? So we were building I was well the last thing I did was I put candles everywhere because <laughs> I think it got night and I realized we hadn't put any lighting oh, in and I was like okay. this is this is a very dark zoo. So yeah. I put loads of candles in. Um, and then we were building this kind of old falling down keep for the renegade badger oh, lords. Okay. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, planets you said Game of Thrones, but make it badgers. Yes. Yep, true new animal planets you. Yeah, so should we head straight into the badgers and badgers snake and frog emporium? See, I'm getting yes. it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, let's I'm go. Um, that's the wrong one. One second, folks. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yay. Wait. Welcome to the void. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just took a little bit of, a little moment to get started. But yeah, let's jump into okay. the lovely Emporia. Shall we, actually, you know, shall I start at the entrance and do like yeah. a little tour? Oh yeah, let's do little a little tour. intro. So here's our entrance. It's very exciting. These guys are really happy to be here. Oh, little Ooh, they're getting peek stuck. What's going on? The little girl is too excited to get in. Oh, she's they're running, excited. they're running. Oh, come on guys, <laughs> there's room for everyone. Right, so here we do, here we do, here we go. We come in the entrance. As you can see, firstly, we enter the frog and snack zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's some education for you. Ooh, very nice. Always um, good to have some education. Always good to have some education. We discovered on our first stream that tin is only 1% educated. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> so we thought we'll work on this. So we've got a little bit of education going on. There's a there's an empty truck to, I don't know, get you thinking about food, but not oh, ready to buy oh, food just oh, okay, yet. Okay. It's a marketing tactic. Oh, we're getting a see. bit of the badger. Yeah, look. Here uh, going as on. you can see, yes, we get the badgers, the badger theming coming in early. Here we I go. I like the candles. <laughs> yeah. I think very, they add to very, the ambiance. Very ambient. This, yeah. Oh yeah, this this took oh, me a while. No. It's very, it's a hat. <laughs> oh no. Um, here we have oh, okay. the first of our snacks. This is oh. the oh, what is this? Is this the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake? Ooh, Lovely. Nice. Also, right, I spent a lot of time. I think on the last stream, manually selling exhibit animals because oh, yes. they breed like nothing else. And now we have like an auto sell feature, yes. which is really exciting. So I've put it all to, to manage the population by selling them. Well, I say selling them while well, I change it to sell them instead of just hoarding yeah. them in the trade center. <laughs> so now we'll automatically sell them. Yeah. So Amazing. we won't keep going because right here's the thing. I kept forgetting that this was meant to be like a zoo that was making money. Yeah. So um, <laughs> now it yeah, will we actually do need make to make money. some money, right? To, to build out the, the zoo. Great. I am a gamer with a capital G. OK, yeah. this is another snake. The eastern brown snake. Ooh. Did I, where is it? Where? where I don't tell me I accidentally sold all the snakes. I don't know I did. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, there, there he is. There yeah, is. Just, just got to look hard. He's just chilling. He's yeah. just, he's literally just vibing. Very nice. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> oh, I love the snakes. Very sweet. Very mysterious. Extremely mysterious. I do like that. I do like the atmosphere in these exhibits, though. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. It took me a long time to place all these candles. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like half of the last stream. It was me <laughs> placing candles. Oh my gosh. This oh? is the Badger Shop Quartet. Oh, I, I like the hat. Thank you. I don't know if you can see, but all the hats have a different coloured ribbon. Oh. Does it have any special meaning behind it? I guess each of them can be representative of like one of the great Badger Lords houses. Oh. We'll see the shields of the Badger Lords when uh, we get to oh, the Badger okay, exhibit. Okay, okay. Lydia's just like, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you talking about? The, okay. No, I, I'm genuinely interested. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I want to learn. I need to know about all these houses. Yeah. Okay. Each of the Badger houses, because they're equally as important. They right? are. I don't think we've got as far as fleshing out the, the roles of the individual Badger <laughs> okay. houses, so maybe we can work on that today. Yeah. 
Got some frogs going on. I won't take you through every single frog. Don't you, don't, don't worry, friends, because there's a lot of them. We but must have some people who like frogs oh, in just, chat too. Oh, it's just so stuck good. On the wall. They're so good. I just they're so good. Look oh, at him. Oh, he's chilling. He is just chilling. The badges look great. Yeah, Joel says the badges look great. Aww. The bad was the badger shop quartet. The badger shop quartet. Yeah. Hell yeah. They're singing like ragtime. Let me be. Let me be. Is that the Goliath? Wow, that one looks quite. This is the Goliath looks, frog. Look at me. His arms look very hench. He's a strong, very, he's very a strong, strong boy. This frog steals your girl. What'd you do? Um, <laughs> oh, welcome in, Marlin. No worries if you're late. We just started introducing Philippa's yep. amazing frog snake emporium. Badges and badges. Badges and badges. Frog yep. emporium. Yep. Very oh, wow. He is really. He's, he's a, a real chunky. He do be thick. Yeah. He's a real chunky boy. Look at him go. Look at him go. I love him. Very sweet. And then, well, there's two more frogs. This is the, mm -hmm. or is it the, is this the layman's poison frog? Yeah, layman's poison frog. And last but not least, the, some kind of tree frog, the red-eyed tree frog. That's the Ooh. one. Oh, I like those ones. Should we see if we can find one? one they one. look so, they look so, oh, there's one, there he is. Oh, he's scratching his eye. Oh, he's wow, so good. the blue is really nice. They're the so great, these little guys. The little models and animations, they're so wow. beautiful. Look at those. Look at those. Oh, I love these different animals. Very cool. So that is the, that sort of entrance part. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we have some food shops here. That's all good. More badges. More badges. And here we Ooh, have... Oh, is this the start to the castle? Yes, this is. Okay, so this is the seat of the Badger Lords, right? Mm. So this is where we have... You can see there's a stained glass window, but I just stuck it on the oh, wall. Oh, very nice. And those are the shields of the Badger oh, Lords, right? You can see. Okay. And then... Oh, I forgot to that. <laughs> right. and then, oh my gosh! In the place there are faces of, everywhere. Exactly. Yeah, in the place of like actual stone crenellations, I put little badger heads everywhere, <laughs> which I think is good. I think it really sets the tone. I think it tells you what to expect. Yeah, I think it tells you that there's going to be something about badgers, right? Right. Yeah. You, yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be taken by surprise. Yeah. Osric says, just in case you didn't know whose castle it was. Exactly. exactly you can't yeah. claim false advertising. You can, because you know. I mean, if you didn't think there were badgers here, I don't. I just I just don't know what to tell you. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I can't help you. <laughs> okay, and then we have two. We have two badgers. We have okay. Bavo and Va. Va. Bear. I don't know how to Bear. pronounce the A with the. Uh... Is Bavo based on someone in? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes I thought so. Did Tim suggest that name? No, it was automatic. Oh, because, okay. Yeah, so sometimes, sometimes you can um, you can pick you can find animals from the from the marketplace oh. which randomly have um, names of oh, there's a platypus there, oh. which um, <laughs> randomly have names of like the devs mm. in the, uh, kind oh, of, in that's the name so pool. Cool. Yeah, did not know that. You learn something new every day. No, it was really funny when the game first released. Someone at work was like, um, was talking to another one of the devs and was saying that um, you you turned up at my friend's park and smashed up a bin because you can. <laughs> always the guests can you also blame have for it. Names as well. Oh, I love platypuses. Okay, so, so you did not mention these. I'm sorry, I actually forgot. <laughs> How could you forget? Right, so... They need love too. They do need love. So this is the Keep of the Renegade Ooh. Badger Lords, which actually, now I'm... Okay, I, I'm not going to say that this is a I good like building because I'm not good at building. However, I think it is artistic. Yeah. I think it really no, tells it a story. It very char okay. It has character. It has character. Yeah. It has yeah. character. Very unique. And it does look so good at night time. Yeah. I think it looks cool. Filled it full of candles. I like the tree that's just, you know, yeah. popping out there. So we've got this tree, the kind of dead tree. Yeah. The, <laughs> the whole castle kind of looks like it's falling apart a bit. And yeah. you have this bell that's fallen down, the yeah. bell that used to but hang you up go, there. But you, you, you see people go to like bath and that's, you know, like leftover remains. That's so, true. You know, this that's is true. kind of like that. You people like to visit stuff that's fallen down. Yeah. It's, it's got character, it's got history. Yeah, people loads of people it. go see that. It's what so people want. Exactly. So Especially British, British people. Want. Yeah, British people love things yeah. that have fallen down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, we do. <laughs> we do like things that have fallen down. <laughs> Yeah, see, lots of people in chat love them. Marjorie Walker says, love the building. It looks wonderful. Excellent. Thanks very, very artistic much. building. Planet Zoo, so we've got your back. 
Yeah. Fans are always Osric well. looks good at night time. Yeah, I really like the candles around it. It gives a good ambiance. It does, it does. I love I love the way the lighting works. Did I set the zoo to always be nighttime or did I just set it to open at really weird times? Okay, no, it's it's a twenty four hour zoo. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, see we get the light coming up now. We've got a sun gorgeous sunrise. Sunrise kind of, over the heap of the <laughs> renegade badger lords. Very nice. Lovely. So what what's the story behind the fallen bell? So the fallen bell the bell was meant to uh, it might have been meant to symbolize something originally. Yeah. I think the idea was that they had a, you know, they had a big bell in yeah. the courtyard mm -hmm. of the keep of renegade badger lords. As the as the building mm -hmm. fell into disrepair, mm -hmm. the bell has since fallen. Ah. Maybe you know, maybe one day prophecy says it'll mm -hmm. be it'll be lifted and Ooh. replaced Ooh. as the keep of the badger lords is reclaimed. Yeah. But until then, it's kind of like a relic at the moment. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it's a relic. You know, you don't want to move it. It's got yeah. historical significance. Yeah. Um, Ooh, one of your pets had have offspring. Excellent, we can name it. <laughs> so, what happens here is that the Keeper of the Renegade Badgerals then got taken over mm. by Platypus. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you've got King Monty. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Admiral <laughs> Brun <Brindaran. laughs> Oh yeah, we've got to give them all titles, I think. Oh. So, right, we need to rename the last, the, these two Platypus. Platypuses? Platypi? Platypodes? I don't know. What is platypi, the what is the linguistic root of the word platypus? I think it's platypi. Th platypi sounds right. Platypi sounds cute as well. Platypi does sound cute. <laughs> Duckbill Duchess. Oh! Duckbill Duchess. Very cute. Okay, so this is Duck Bill, Duchess Duckbill. Mm -hmm. And then I, I kind of want to call the last one, well, do, well, firstly, do you have any ideas? I no, I'm really bad at naming okay. things. Like I just, I end up, I end up naming all my. If I ever play a game, I always end up naming them food names, which is not very <laughs> helpful because I feel like that's a little bit insensitive sometimes. But yeah, that's that's. that's. I always like to. I always like to give um, animals people names or Pokemon. Mm. Like when I play Pokemon, I give them all people names because it 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 makes me laugh to see like a Charizard called Fred. Right? <laughs> yeah, it makes them feel a little bit more more humane, even though they're not. Platypus comes from the Greek, so would that mean that the plural would be platypodes? Platypodes. Greek does not decline oh, the same. Platypois. Platypois. That sounds so fancy. Platu. Platypois. Platu. Voila. Le platypois. Yeah. The animal is the platypois. Right. Okay. What was I going to call this one? Oh yes. Well, all mm. animal names are food names. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's very dark. <laughs> okay. So now we have King Monty, supported by Admiral Burin Burin, mm -hmm. Dutch Duckbill, and the Reverend Miro. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Why does nobody have any food? Sort yourselves out. Sort yourselves out. I think maybe I need to sort out my Keeper Zoo, because mm -hmm. I've been very focused on just building stuff and not really focused on actually running the mm -hmm. zoo like it's meant to be run. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just going to quickly shout out everyone who's followed just now. I think mm -hmm. we had quite a few followers. So Augustos, Checky, Check-In, Hum, 2008, The Carrot Dynas Dynasty, Aria 74, Galaxy Gal Galaxtica, Anafan07. Sorry if I butchered any of your names, but welcome to, so welcome to the Frontier Fam. Hope you enjoy your stay and enjoy watching Philippa build out her wonderful welcome. emporium. Okay, I have a keep hut, a staff room, and a research center. That's good. A little platypus work zone. Oh yes, burrow or mushroom keep. Oh yeah. Oh, mushroom keep. Mushroom keep. I like that. Mushroom keep. Exhibit has no keepers assigned. <laughs> no. That, uh, probably uh, is something you need. I'll probably. I think. I think I need to add. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hire another keeper because I think there's a lot of exhibits going on mm -hmm, here, and I think mm -hmm. they need a little bit of help because mm -hmm. at the moment I have like one. Mm -hmm. Apparently, from the internet, going by the words Greek roots, the plural word would be platypodes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> platypodes. Is that not what I said? Amazing work, yeah. Philip. Well done. Very nice. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, the law behind the platypuses as well, not just the badges. The linguistic law yeah. behind platypus. Okay, let's um, research some. Uh, you know, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna research like the basic levels of some of these exhibit animals, and mm -hmm. then we can give them some more um, exhibit decoration-y stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to make, I was going to hire another keeper. Yes. Didn't drop him in. Drop him in there. Um, okay, so I'm going to add you to the frog zone. Get to work with the frogs. So is there a story as well behind why you put mostly snakes and frogs in your for your exhibit? I just really like snakes and frogs. Oh, okay. That's the thing. I really like snakes and frogs. Um, and we started building, and it's I always get started with some exhibit animals yeah. to you know generate some income. So yeah. I was like, let's get some snakes and frogs in here. Okay. I like them very much. Yeah. True. Because they they breed and then they you can sell them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Oh, they breed so fast and yeah. it's really annoying. <laughs> I keep checking on my frogs and being like, why are my frogs all really sad? Yeah. It's because there's like 30 there's frogs too living many in the of pot. Them. Right, okay, I'm going to make another work zone because my work zone management is poor. So this is going to be a snack zone. Okay. And then I'm also going to add, oh, wait, no, because two of those things are, that some of the things are building. Oh. My bad. Boop. Yeah, yeah Terridan says there are only animal facts that get dropped here. True. And True. you can actually do it! Exclamation animal fact and you get an animal fact. Try it out. But don't spam it because uh, <laughs> it won't work if all you do it. It won't work if all you do it at the same time. I think there's a cooldown. <laughs> Auto sell is the best feature added to the game. Yeah, it's very useful, especially for this particular zoo as well. Mm -hmm. Because we're getting all these exhibit animals and they, they breed a lot. They do. Okay. Right. I think, let's have a look and see how our animals are doing. No, why are you stre- wait, what? Where are you? Oh, okay, no, it's just zoomed me right out. I was like, where is he? Oh, he's swimming. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, he needs stressed. somewhere to hide. I think because he's very exposed here, he needs more oh. like shelter. Um, he does have, he should have a burrow somewhere because I remember mm. the last time I played with Tim, I tried to find my badges and I was like, why is he under the ground? It turns oh. out he was in a burrow. Wait. Yeah, and you can look inside the burrows too, which is cool. Yes. Oh, that's the same ba badger. <laughs> I was like, where is my other badger? It's the same badger. <laughs> it is literally the same badger. Okay, so Babo is fine. Babo is... What the? What? Wait, what? what? He's <laughs> in the sky! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Oh no! What <laughs> happened? Wait, this is super badger. Uh oh. Um. Well, it doesn't say he's escaped. Oh dear. Um. Uh. You know what? He's living his best life. <laughs> I think we should. Um. I think we should move him. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll move him. Put him. Put. 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 Go back in there. Why? Are you, oh my gosh. Okay. What? Oh, it's an invalid destination because it thinks he's already there, basically. Okay, you know, I'll send him to storage and uh, and and just uh, put him back put there. Him back. Yeah. <laughs> right. Excellent. Good stuff. Great work, team. Okay. I mean, to be fair, he was he was very happy. Like he wasn't stressed. He was living mm -hmm. his best life. He was mm -hmm. having a great time. And yep. For a moment, he believed he could fly. It's just. <laughs> What a special badger, a very special badger. Yep. Babo okay. the Badger. Babo. That's a really good name for a badger, actually. It Babo is the a badger. good name. It's catchy as well. It is a great name oh, for yeah, a badger. Oh, yeah, it does have their burrows inside the yeah, castle. Yeah, so he has a little burrow over here, and then he does have a little shelter over here. Mm -hmm. But um, I think what I maybe should do is, is put some like around the front as well, so that he, because it's quite, the thing is, it's quite a big habitat, mm. I think. So it like takes yeah. him a while to get anywhere. So I'll put a little shelter here. Yeah, because they're just going around and then they want some more mm. alone time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, that's pretty. A penguin ice cathedral habitat. Oh my gosh, amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, I will put this guy in here. Do badgers climb? I don't think so. Let's assume... I think they do, but... um, I'll just put it there. Okay. Oh, he's joined a pack. That's wait. Why? Why? Oh no! <laughs> what is oh, up with no. this guy? <laughs> I think we just have to leave him in there. Um, I think he's. Um, I think he's just. He's just doing his best. I think we need to leave him in there. In there. 
move him elsewhere. I'll just, I'll just, you know what? You do, you're not hurting anyone. Just leave you there. I'll just leave you there. Wait, it's snowing now. Oh, dang, look at that. Oh, many guests think tickets are underpriced. Let me charge you more, my friends. Ooh. Lovely. I'll put mm. the children ones up as well. And now it's going to be Wait, like... Wait, isn't it 45? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Ch child prices are $45, but... Uh, I'll just leave it at four. That's yeah. fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, we still have issues with the education. Should we yeah. maybe think about education a little bit? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I wanted to build a bat habitat. Oh, do you have That's enough money now? Yes, I, I do have enough do, money yeah. now. Now that I'm auto selling my frogs, yeah, yeah. we can do the You're bat just thing. Bringing in the cash, we are raking it in. Yeah. All those frogs—that's what the people want. Yep. Okay, so the question is, where shall I put it? I was going to put it around the base of this mm -hmm, keep because mm -hmm. I forgot that we put platter, platter birds in there. So, yeah. I think maybe. Um, what do you think? Mm. Maybe on the right side. I think mm -hmm. we've got quite a bit of space there. I'm not sure if it's enough space. Okay. But yeah. We can have a little walk through habitat mm -hmm. maybe out mm -hmm. here. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the stream, Caesar. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let me put it. Don't want it to be like too close to the staff buildings. Yeah, That's true. The thing. Oh, I can put it here. There we go. And then Ooh. I should put some lights down because it's, it's just very dark. It's very <laughs> dark. <laughs> Vision is very low at the moment. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uti no, not the utilities. Where would it? Where is it? Is that on the construction? Oh, there I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Lights. Yes, more candles. <laughs> oh look, they can go on the walls. Oh, Excellent. Yeah. You can make, you can literally make like a lettering outfit. Oh, what a good idea. Oh, oh no, what have I done? No, this is the rest. This is the rest of the stream. Okay, it's just me writing, <laughs> writing words in candles inside the buildings. <laughs> Wall candles. Yes. Yes. Is there anything you want to see? What is your favorite animal, Lydia? I didn't ask. Oh, what my favorite animal see? is um, the small Asian small clawed otter. <gasps> yeah, that's my favorite. That's so precious. I've, I've liked, I think I've mentioned this on stream a few times, but I've liked otters since I was like maybe five or seven years old. Aww. And that was because I, um, I got an otter beanie baby from my mum when I was a kid and it's it was like always with me yeah oh, I've lost so it since cute. which is a bit sad but you know <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that's why I like otters so much that's so sweet yeah I had um, my favorite stuffed toy when I was growing up was like a dog that I got from like my godfather oh. I think and he, I called him doggy <laughs> <laughs> very nice it's so imaginative keep it simple oh my god you're doing bats are us yes I am doing bats are us <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember um, I went to, I was on like a family holiday mm. in Cornwall. Yeah. And there's a seal sanctuary there, but it's not just seals, they also have like walruses oh, and otters. Oh. And they had these like little Asian small clawed otters and yeah. they were just like sleeping and cuddling and each other. And they make other. this really cute squealing noises, which is also our alert. And Jessica, welcome to the Frontier Fam. Thanks for following. <laughs> Um, yeah, they, they make like these really cute squealing noises. Aww. I've never actually seen otters in the zoo yet, so I want to need to go visit one. But yeah, that U is very long. It's a long, <laughs> it's a long U. <laughs> you know, I like it. It has, it has yeah, courage. Yeah, exactly. Um, Sasso DJ, welcome to the Frontier Fam. Everyone's following now that they want to hear the lovely otter squeals. The otter squeals. Yeah. Um, okay, let me, what is it? Is it, does that look like the right path? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. And then into Bats Are Us. I actually didn't check whether that was the front or the back of the exhibit, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Big Blue Ot Octopus says, it honestly feels like I'm the worst builder in the game. I just can't make anything look good. But I feel like a lot of people say that about 
their building skills. Like even you said that you know, I were mean, good at building, but look at what I you mean, created. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bats are us. This is me. This surely is the best. Yeah. The best building we have ever showcased on stream. Yeah. One of the best, come on. <laughs> it's like, it's not all about, you know, like there is some, you know, typical aesthetic things that you would find mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing, but there are also things that people will find really pleasing, you know, even if it looks a little bit different. So I think that's that's the beauty of the game is that yeah. you can create anything and make everything look so unique. Yeah, definitely. And people can appreciate it and people might think it's weird, but some other other people might really like it. So yeah. you never know. There's like a lot of people who build absolutely incredible zoos and then yeah. there's a lot of people who just build squares. And yeah. that's a lot to be fair, a lot of time that's yeah. me. As long as they're having fun. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're adorable. Yeah, they are. Asian small clawed otters are super sweet. Okay, I did pre-buy a bat because yes. I was a bit worried. I was like, if we get on stream and I can't buy a bat, I'm going to be really upset. Yeah. So I bought a bat in advance. <gasps> oh, hell yeah. Hell it's yeah. Good. It's great. Oh my gosh, it looks even better with the cage. It looks like you've got to go in there and get yeah. mud. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, put some, we'll put some nice stuff in it. No, what? come <laughs> on. No. You go, you look at Bats or us, you don't think, you know, creepy, okay, I don't know, maybe. What do you think, Chad? <laughs> creepy vibes or welcoming vibes? It looks like some weird, like, boot, like, I've made it look like some weird boot I mean, I think the candles you, you put on the, on the bottom look a little bit, you know, they don't fit with the, you know, what the, the, the title, but yeah, those ones, they're, they're a little bit uh, out of place. Okay, I'll, um, I'll, uh, oh, I'll, you can leave it. I mean, no, uh, I know when they're not wanted, <laughs> I'll take them away, but I'll replace them with better ones. Uh, oh, better ones. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Mm. I agree with Lydia, you would definitely die. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. She said it. <laughs> I said it's, you know, welcoming. Mm. Who wouldn't want to go into Bats R Us? Okay, don't worry. I, I've got this. I've got this. Uh, you know how I'll sort this out. Oh, that's even more perfect then. <laughs> Oh, what are we getting here? Okay. I think we had a few more followers. Um, Goonhound, uh, Anarchist Zombie, and Alien View. Welcome to the Frontier Fam. Thanks for joining us on the stream today. It's great to see you. 100%. Are you going to be 100% safe? Yep. <laughs> That's just so that all the totally families <laughs> bringing their children know that they definitely won't get murdered. Totally, again. yeah, legit. See, you, I'm sure you're everyone's like, gonna. You're like, feel oh, safe. I might get murdered here. Wait, no, it says it's one hundred percent safe, so yeah. it's definitely okay. I really hope that this is not on the back. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Very nice. Beautiful. It's a work of art, guys. What do you say? You can't really read the hundred percent. So it just says bats are us. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Safe. And then ten something. Okay. Um, it's the kind of place the Joker would build. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no. I need to. Okay, so I need to sort this out. Let's go. I think you need to take care of your bats as well. If I had kids, I'd totally send them to the zoo. There we go. Vote of confidence from Heather. Hell yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't go with them. You'd just send them. <laughs> just send them here. Okay, we need some more. Uh, okay, so we need some. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, look, people are coming in. Yes, amazing. They're coming in to see. The fan says free candy. <laughs> <laughs> There's, yeah, somewhat likeness to that, <laughs> that they're analogy. Not even, they're not even looking at the bat, he's <laughs> over here. <laughs> they're all standing there like... Guys, the bat's behind you. It's behind you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there they go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just on cue. Oh, okay. they're going. Goodbye. Oh, bye. Look how relaxed they are, yep. Okay, he needs more bats, so that's the he thing. He needs friends? He needs friends. He does need friends. Oh, we got more friends! Friends! 
Okay, uh, adopt you. Um, I probably should check how many bats we need, but it's fine. I'll just buy some until they get sad. <laughs> That's the way you do it, right? That's a, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> um, okay, you can go here. All oh, bats need friends. Yeah, they do. And <gasps> you They're can flying. also go here. And I will sell these excess uh, frogs and snacks because mm -hmm. I assume that they just came from... Goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye. Oh, yay, look at them go. Oh, this oh. is so good. Okay, I'm going to read up on them to see... We need some enrichment, right? Yeah, actually, yeah, we should probably research these guys as well. Um, group size, oh my gosh, 5 to 35. Okay, that's fine. So we just keep buying bats. We can basically just keep buying bats all stream. Mm. All stream. We've got to wait for them though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. just like sit in. Waiting. It's like me on eBay, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give me those bats. I'm just gonna. Oh, I should probably get someone in to clean the uh, platypus. Mm. Oh, oh, the water. Oh, yeah, the water cleanliness is the real issue here, I think. I think they need some fresh water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, the view of the platypus is not ideal because I kind of built it not really thinking about the, the zoo people. I was like thinking about the platypus as opposed oh. to <laughs> as opposed to the people. Oh, I really like the the lights on the walkway too. Right? Whoa. It looks good. It has it has This is a good picture character. moment. It has like a good vibe. Sun in the mac yeah, mm -hmm. good vibes. Yep, this is course, getting an Instagram sure. moment. Come on, yeah. guys. Yeah. Why are you so excited? <laughs> And then I thought I was about to do something. Okay, I should probably get some cleaners. You. <laughs> yes. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Make their another. water clean. I will hire another keeper. Um, do we have any? Okay, we don't have any educators. Mm -hmm. You have a high workload. I should probably hire some more vendors. Have a high workload. Everyone is stressed <laughs> all the time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the not everyone can work at the badger and badger. You have to be a frog special and kind of person. Okay, yeah. we've got two vets, badger lady and platypus pal. Yeah. You uh, have to be dedicated to your, your job mm -hmm. to work in this place. Yeah, you do. I want to put some scenery in here because it looks really sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, make it look nice. Yeah, yeah let's make pretty. it nice. Maybe it's like some um, combat. I'm trying to click on you. Okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, it's part two. Now with bats. Now with bats. Okay, grass the and was getting tropical. longer every, every time you're on stream. <laughs> bats and badgers, snack and frog and porium. Now with bats, also some platypus. Yeah. Grass well, you and forgot the platypus last time. Yeah, that's true. I did yeah. forget about the platypus. I'm really sorry. If you, if you, I'm really sorry for any platypus fans out there. I, I totally forgot <laughs> that they were here. Okay, so want some African and Asian stuff. What do we want? Grass and tropical desert. Wow, that is a, a big tree. That's a, that's a big old tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna. Oh, that's quite nice. Ooh. Maybe something small. Um, oh, no. Oh. Oh, that will fit. That will fit. Oh, that's a big fit. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Absolutely Perfect done. Perfect fit. <laughs> okay, now put a bit, put a bit, bit more in. Oh yeah, they are bat appreciating. Oh, fantastic! I love it. Educating the children. Walking them in nature, it's cool, it's all good time. I am kind of mixing by wow. <laughs> Just tree. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna fit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh I like that one. Very Very cool. Oh, that's quite nice. I don't really, these are, okay. Going all over the world a bit, I think, with my vegetation choices, but yeah. I think it's okay, you know. You're getting like a mix of. All over the world. Yeah, exactly. These are very well-traveled bats. Yeah, they like a bit of uh, diversity in they their do. vegetation. They do. Do they have any like specific requirements for vegetation? Um, they so like, they dislike stuff, or yeah. So I mean, I don't know. Then they um they they specified um Africa, Africa and Asia, and then mm -hmm. desert, grassland, and tropical biomes. 
Okay, so, so that's, that's what I'm Hopefully working everything off. will fit. We'll find out, I guess, if they get upset about it. Uh, let's have a look. Do you have a butterfly exhibit? No, but the butterfly exhibit is coming next week on the 13th of December. So you'll be able to oh, yeah, create your butterfly yeah. exhibits then. Just, yeah, for the Grasslands Animal Pack that's coming out next week. I'm excited to see everyone's creations on that as well. Oh, it'll be yes. fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, grapes. Ooh, just like a bunch <laughs> sticking up from the ground. Thank you, Heather, for the leaks. I'll put the grapes there. Nice. Ooh. Floating grapes. Perfect. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, it gets even like, it just goes in the fan. <laughs> yes. That's that would go very well with the, the theme when it gets dark. <laughs> that tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I wanted a big tree. <laughs> I cannot you must have your tree. You cannot stop. Oh! oh <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, that's too much wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, don't uh, worry. We'll all calm down. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're just the sizes of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, there we go. Stella, this uh, side of the habitat is absolutely beautiful. Look pink, at that. Pink and more pink. Oh, that's big. Mm. What's your favourite colour? That's a good question. I don't know if I say I, I don't know if I have one. Oh, that's okay, the thing. okay. I, I, I you don't you don't have you don't lean into a little specific one. Mm, I feel like maybe I wear blue the most, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's necessarily my favorite color. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. What about you? Do you have I a favorite? Like pink and purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very typical answer of me. I can't choose, so I just have to pick two. <laughs> Okay, this slide, this, this side looks, looks very great. lovely. Just, just don't, don't turn around. <laughs> it's illegal. Just don't turn around. Purple is the answer. So we'll need your bats. Yes, thank you. Ooh, more bats. Oh, we got a female one now. Yay! Okay. They look happy. Yeah. Why wouldn't they be? They're that's seeing the bats. They're having a good time. Oh, they bought the bats. They're like. You bought all the bags. Yeah, it's looking good. No, they're looking at the empty space. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Turn around, turn around. <laughs> There's bats right over there. I think it looks less menacing now that there's more plants in there. Yeah. Whereas before there was like nothing in there. So it, it, was, it was just... You'd walk in and there'd be, <laughs> and like, it'd be like empty and you'd be like, this is a bit suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> what a beautifully manicured lawn. Exactly. <laughs> wow, I really like it. Wait, the trees, the trees are sticking out on the top as well. <laughs> See, we got some like height Lovely. variation yeah. going on. It's pleasing to the eye to yeah. see height variation. Like, okay. It's like kind of like an exhibit That's a design. and a greenhouse at exactly. the same time. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Lovely. Aww. Absolutely lovely. I think they're enjoying it. I hope so. Bat. Oh, this oh. guy's thirsty as hell. Yeah, they need. Oh, they're not that happy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I mean, that sounds like a them problem, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, I think I think maybe we need some more drink shops. I'll put some. I'll put some here. Mm -hmm. That seems good. Actually, you know what? Let me look at my heat maps. Right. Pro tip to myself: mm -hmm. Why don't we try actually seeing where we need them instead of just randomly placing stuff and hope it makes things better? Yeah. Good idea. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's okay. So a lot of. Okay. Well, the thirsty people are at the drink shop. That is kind of somewhat unsurprising. Yeah. Um, maybe. What's put on my hair? Maybe before that. Mm, I'll put one up here. Mm. And it'll be amazing. Oh, stop littering, you disgusting people. What's wrong with you? Sort yourselves out. Absolutely disgusting. Mm mm mm. There's bins right there. Literally, the bin is right. The, the bin, the bin. What is this? What is this? <laughs> the bin is right there. It's right there. Uh, Disgusting. 
Oh, and tickets are still underpriced. Hell yeah! It's because the bat that. exhibit. That's true. They see the bat exhibit they and they're like, pay dang! I would pay through the nose to see these bats as they should. Okay, well, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was building a drink shop. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. I need some. Mm. Okay, how about the restaurant? That's sad times. Oh, I could build a vending machine. Ooh. That really that, fits the medieval that vibe. That actually does fit. With and it's totally medieval. Hell yeah. The okay. gulpy. A chief beef vending machine. Oh, gross. Okay. Can I recolor the vending machines? I don't think I can. Can I? No. That's sad times. Oh well. Okay. Okay. Now they can't be thirsty, right? They got two on the way. Well, it is quite a long walk to be fair. It's a long, long walk. Yeah. I, this is my issue usually when I build zoos, is that I forget, this person needs to pee. Hey. I forget <laughs> how far people are willing to walk. So I build these like huge walkways and yeah. the guests walk like a tenth of the way and then they turn around, turn and, around go and go home. Turn around and go home, yeah. <laughs> they need something interesting to see along the way, yeah. I think, unless, um, if they don't, they just, they get, they're just not easily entertained, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's get some education coverage in there mm -hmm. because, right, we have uh, not a lot. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm thinking maybe. Um, oh, we had some. Wait, one of the badgers died. No! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, his little tongue popped out. No. No, the one of the badger lords. No. no. Oh, no. Rest in peace. Ma. Say it ain't so. This is really sad. Let's build a little shrine. Mm. This is the saddest thing. Okay, so we need to, we need, we need to get her a replacement. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. What I want to do is make her like a little, <laughs> do we have any tombstones? Should. Maybe we do. Oh, yeah, with yeah, we the, do. With yeah. the Twilight Pack. Okay. I, well, that's, that's why I assume, at least. Okay, well, maybe not in. No, I think it was in the, the wetlands one. Oh, right, okay. Was it not in the wetlands one? Mm. Why do we not have tombstones? Mm 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 mm. Uh, it was introduced in, um, maybe Planet Zoo will know. Planet Zoo? I'll mark, mark the fallen with a gondolier hat. <laughs> oh no. Never again will she sing with a black ribbon for a somber, somber vibe. I think it's called Memorial. Oh no. Oh yeah, there it is. Thank you. Yeah, we need candles as well. Yeah, we do actually, we do. Okay, let's have the let's have the limestone. I think that has the most gravitas. Yeah. Too, it's not about the guests, it's about me. <laughs> Too far from the guests. <laughs> it's not about you. <laughs> Think it's all about you? No, it's not. It's about me. No! Oh, <laughs> gosh. Okay, this, I'm sorry. It's, it's the grief. It's making me do strange things. Okay, so here we go. We're going we're gonna to rotate that. We're going to move that a little bit. It does look like I've just decapitated the thing, but it's fine. Um, what did I do to the badger? It wasn't me! Bar died of old age. It could not be prevented. Mm. Oh, why do I keep... Oh, do I have to actually link it to a badger? Uh, to a badger. Mm. We miss you. Badger Lord. Badger Lord. No. Oh. Wait, 
we didn't put the date in. Oh, we didn't put the date in. What day did she die? I feel like it was today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 12.8 years old, died of old age. Did well. Twelfth of July. She served many a people. Twelfth of the sixth. There we go. No, I just I said sixth and then I put in seventh, but I think it what is, I actually it meant is was seven. seven. Yep. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. My hands knew what I was doing, even my brain did not. Rest in peace, Var. And then we'll put some candles missed. down as well. Yeah. Just to just to really set the tone. So sad. Dun dun dun. Everybody share your fondest memories of Var the old badger. <laughs> I wonder how many people remember him from last time. <laughs> Who remembers Var from last time? Philippa was on stream. <laughs> Just gonna leave him out there? No. Return him to nature the way we'll, we'll, we'll bury him. And but we're just, you know, decorating. His tombstone for now. I think that's great. Yeah. I think he'll be happy about that. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Rest in peace, friend. Rest, we will remember you. Now, we should probably get a replacement badger because Bavo will be sad. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't know where Bavo is or what Bavo's doing. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's back. Oh, good for you. Aww. You know, you decided to come back. Oh, he's an elderly. He's an old, old boy. Oh, no. He's going <laughs> to... Okay. Don't stress. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The badger kingdom is falling apart. It's in ruins. <laughs> it's oh, in ruins. Oh, no. <laughs> Bob was a good friend. We used to pop together. <laughs> I'll miss him. Oh. Badger came... Var came to my wedding. Var came to my son's graduation. Oh. I don't know. What else did Bar do? I had a little swim. Bar had a little swim. Yeah. Dirtied the water. <laughs> but it was all good. <laughs> he led many uh, many uh, uh, people to, you know, live their best life. He did. He he was yeah. really she was very encouraging. Actually, I think I think I think was was very Bar was really an inspiration to us all. Yeah. Bar really she just really embodied the spirit yeah. of Badger, you know, yeah. better than any of us could ever hope to. It's time for the exiled Badgers to rise up and overthrow Whoa. the Badger Law. <laughs> Maybe the time to strike is now because the Badger Laws are severely weakened. Um, I have got to wait until... Oh, wait, and you're going to bury the Badger? How do I bury the Badger? I think you call the vet. Oh. The vet? Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. If the vets are not too busy researching. So we're going to get... all the closest vet? I have no idea. Sorry, the, the layout of the zoo is not particularly good. There we go. Please tell me it's Badger Lady. No, it's Platypus Pal. One of our vets is called Badger, Badger Lady and one of them is Platypus Pal. I wonder, I wonder what they do in this zoo. <laughs> oh, they're going, they're going. Okay, is she going to figure out how to actually get there? Oh, no, it's just... Flying badger corpses. Goodbye. Goodbye, my badger. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. Those you have been the one for me. I hope, I hope um, Babo survives to the end of the stream. <laughs> At least. Don't Babo, worry. you have to hold on for us. Babo. No. <laughs> no, Babo. Wait, no. What's happening? What is he doing? Okay, now his social stress is. Okay, his, his social oh, does he welfare. need more? No, he's becoming less stressed, okay? Oh. Look, don't, don't worry, he's becoming significantly less stressed. Literally, what? Oh, as he's he trying becomes, to hide, he's trying to hide. But he's succeeding, look. It's what? Ha what the hell just happened there? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put another shelter over this side because it just, like, jumped down again. I think because he's no longer in the shade. I was just thinking of playing Planet Zoo. Yeah, this is your, what is it? Your sign your to sign play. Your sign from the universe to <laughs> yeah. play Planet and Zoo, get some badges Everyone add going. a badger into your zoos yeah. for our long lost friend Var. Poor Var. Yeah. Poor Got to honour him in all the other 
zoos you guys have made. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna leave Babo to do his thing for a little bit. Come on, go in your little resting spot. Go, I literally, I've given you a shelter, my dude. Is it navigable? That's animal welfare. Oh, there it's we go. Moving. Oh, it's traversable. Okay, good, it's traversable. He's going, he's going back. He's going for a dip. <laughs> yep, just go. Okay. Okay, you know what? Okay. I'll, I'll leave I'll leave you to it, my little friend. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Slowly going up. It's good. Oh, I'm dropping again. There's quite a, to be fair, there are quite a lot of people. Oh, is he getting, like, shy? Yeah, there's quite a Ooh. lot of people looking out over that, over his habitat Ooh. from that walkway. Not a lot of, like, coverage mm. here. Mm. Jacob, thanks so much for following. And Generic Juno, thanks so much for following. Maybe Welcome to the Frontier Fam. Maybe. And joining us today on the stream. Maybe... Oh my gosh, I because I didn't have I don't have enough plant coverage. I said I was like maybe if I put some that's a big why there's so many trees. Maybe if I put in like some the, tree coverage. You think they the there's more and then they just come out to be big tree trucks. Ooh, that's Ooh, pretty. I like that. Oh, and that's a better size. Oh, that's as well. cute, that's cute. That's nice, I like that. Okay. And then we can have some tree coverage and he can like hide in that, and that'd be really nice, I think. And it'll look Really good. Yeah. I think having a big tree in the middle would be cool. Yeah, like right in the like middle. A big one. <laughs> okay, let's. What is the biggest tree? Um, I don't know. I think Chat would know though. Chat, you know what the biggest tree is? That's <laughs> not that. Not that. <laughs> what was that one? You had like that massive tree trunk. Oh yeah. The, well, they were like, like they were like uh, the African like. Oh okay, maybe not then. An oak tree, I think, would be a good one. Whoa! That is a large. <laughs> that tree is large. No. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Ombu. This habitat is now ninety mm, century. Yeah. Well, except it's not. It's like sixteen percent finished. Well, the coverage is, you know, getting good. I we guess. Gotta, we gotta pump those numbers up. What if I had one? Can we get a little tree next to the burial? <gasps> That's a good like idea. A I like one. that. So, you know, it's like the afterlife type of thing. Yeah, yeah. she's been decomposed into the ground. Yeah. Oh, the bat has had offspring. Excellent. And become a tree. Okay, so what tree do you think represents her? Maybe Something nice like and a little? colorful, maybe. A sausage tree. <laughs> a sausage tree. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that looks really cute. Yeah, I like that. that. I like that. that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Reborn as a tree. Lovely. Beautiful. And then I'll pop some other... Oh, the tamarind tree. That's nice. But I swear there was a... Okay. It's like 90% tree now. <laughs> this is also... I, I've also got like a weird... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, I made a huge error. I forgot I already had filters on, and I was like, I thought this was just oh. Asia and Europe, and it was giving me, I was like, I swear that's oh, no. not part of this biome. Oh, gosh. It's Gotta fine. Uh, and then we don't want the desert, and we don't want the tropical, we just want temperate. Okay. Just all of the trees in okay, there. Okay, so let me get rid of this bad boy, <laughs> and, uh... Oh, dear. Yeah, make sure you check your filters, guys. And then I need to, uh, where are you? Get rid of this one. Oh, it's the one that... It's okay, oh, it's okay. We'll find another we'll find appropriate another one. one. We'll find a better one. And it'll be just wonderful. How about a little fern? Oh, that's fern. cute. That's sweet, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. Very sweet. And then oh. we'll pop some more down here. I just want to get this coverage up. Yeah. Because um, then also it'll give him places to hide as well, I think, so he yeah, doesn't get quite so stressed. Oh, the weeping willow. I love weeping willows. That's oh, really gorgeous. cool. Put one down here. It's like slanted <laughs> a willow. Hell yeah, that's what Another like. characteristic, <laughs> very unique characteristic this of Philippa Zoo, <laughs> the slanted Willow. No, 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 <laughs> no, don't do this to me. Did you Wind. see the notification? No! Not in the water. <laughs> this is such a travesty. 
<laughs> no! What is going on? You die in the water. <laughs> this is just no. a this is just a nice planet sea stream and then two of our animals passed away. <sighs> Not Bavo. F F in the chat for Bavo. I'm so sad to get him buried. Get him out of the water, at least. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Goodbye, Bavo. What is going on? No. Why are we put on this earth just to suffer? <laughs> we need to. We. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this is now a badger-free zone. No, the badger lords. We need to. We need to rebuild the kingdom before We've, it collapses. We can rebuild. Come on, Joseph. It's all up to you. <laughs> Don't even, <laughs> don't ask what happened to the last batch, just don't even worry about it. You are now the, you are now rightful heir to the badger kingdom. Yes. Oh no, there must be something in the water. <laughs> yeah, because the water's full of disease. Oh no. <laughs> okay, he is being moved. Goodbye, okay. Babo. We need another memorial. <laughs> for <laughs> Babo. We don't do, don't we? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Tim says, I can't believe you killed all my badgers. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> sorry. The oh, whoops. Ugh. So many errors. Okay, let's try this again. Um, should I put it in the water? <laughs> it's not even possible. You put it on the side, I think. I put it on like, the bank. Right on the side. Yeah, I think it you know, just on gives it a bit bank. Oh, our last hope. Help us. Right. It's a fallen yeah. badger. No, it will rise once more. Just you watch. Don't it has not fallen it. just yet, generic June. Juno. Okay. Okay. Snow snake and frog emporium. Now with bats. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no, I've I've neglected my platypus oh, far too no. long. It's fine, we're not gonna kill the platypus as well. No, they're, they're gonna be fine, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. Don't we even can't worry handle about it. more tragedy on this stream. <sighs> I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Okay, let's... Um... Oh, it's a critical infection. Yeah, okay, let's uh, call the vet urgently, right? Come and have a look at this at this platypus. And then they'll be able to find out. Okay, we're going to make the platypus well again. We're going to fix the platypus. Mm. And do we now have a badger in here? Wait, I thought we did have a badger. I thought I told you to send the badger here. So where is the badger? Is he on his way? I guess Did so. I accidentally add the badger to the wrong habitat? Oh. Oh, no, there is. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. The mystery of the missing badger just like disappeared into the void. <laughs> gonna save the plat. <laughs> they're running. <laughs> yeah, we urgently need to Come rebuild on, our kingdom. Come on, here. buddy. Come on, get in there. Hey, Joseph, help us, Joseph. You're our only This hope. is our new badger lord, guys. Welcome him in. Yes, I know the animal is disease. Rotavirus. Okay, now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Now, Platypus oh. Pal can research rotavirus and then mm, we our can sort this out. Be fine, yeah. We and, got this. Um, I'm going to hire another vet because I, I, think, we, I think we need it. Um, and <laughs> the new vet, you live uh, not in the platypus enclosure, you live here now. You live here now. <laughs> you Hello, can it's Jabby. Welcome to the stream. The bat person where is tim he need the knowledge he does need the <laughs> knowledge <laughs> tim is hiding okay come on bat buddy you can research the bat oh the bats had um offspring too didn't they they did they did okay oh, more bats in there now let's go have a look at the bats tim is watching <laughs> um Okay, you know what? Let's ignore all the cleanliness issues. It's absolutely fine. Don't even worry about it. Oh, okay. And let's have a look at our bats. So we have... Are they doing all right? Yeah, they're fine. Oh, they're, they're fine. The bats, see, the bats are easy because 
they can have like they live in sizes of up mm. to like 35 bats in a group so we've got a bit of a mm. we've got like a while before they yeah. get stressed about okay. about, okay. about okay. having so we're too a bit many. of wriggle room the frog has had offspring i don't care Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you people? We need Good bins. Lord, we need some sort bins around out. here. Raise in a barn. I think we need more bins, because as if it's not obvious enough. You people. We need like every one meter a bin. Put your litter in the bin or I'll put you in the bin. <laughs> Wise words. Words to live by. People are rude, I know. Literally so rude. Come on, you gotta respect the badger. Kingdom. Respect the badgers. It's you're basically coming in here and throwing litter on these badgers. Like you wouldn't go into a graveyard and throw litter around. Exactly. Why would you come into this place and throw litter around? Yeah. Especially amongst royalty. <sighs> amongst royalty, yeah. right? It's like they just don't. Ugh, they just don't know how to behave. They don't understand. Okay, let's. Um, where am I? Where is my mechanic? Is that a? What are you? Are you a vet? What are you? You're a vendor. Why are you over here? <laughs> are you wondering? What are you doing? You should be selling things. What are you doing? It's a trainee. What? Expect a higher salary. I mean, you don't oh do my. anything. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Okay, I, I, I do understand this is entirely because the water cleanliness is a problem, but it's so annoying. Right, let's sort this out. Get back to work, Jared. <laughs> you let out a badger. Okay. Joseph. 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 Okay, and then my mechanics are now uh, mm -hmm. researching. Well, they have been researching. And now we have sustainable power sources. <gasps> Twilight theme? Yes, get in there. And you can research some star facilities. <laughs> Okay. Get in there. Get in there. Sort it out. Joseph saw what happened to the last guy. <laughs> no, don't bring back the painful memories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I okay. I I, I right. I, I might have figured out why uh, why we have issues with water oh. cleanliness. I might I might have figured it out. Oh well. There Does that is, explain a lot? There is a small chance that I don't have any water treatment plants in the entire zoo. Just a small, Ooh. a small chance. No one told us in chat. That I might have completely forgot to do the most basic thing. I feel like that would have been done at the start though. I blamed him. I blamed him. I blamed him. <laughs> I absolutely blamed him for all my personal failings. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad we're all on the same page here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Good stuff. Does the, the water treatment? Oh, they do connect the path. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. All things considered, yes, they did survive. I think for there is. Years. I think I'm very impressed that they lived for 12 yeah. years with literally no water treatment at yeah. all. So That's you know a what? testament to your skills, you right there. Exactly. My skills as a zookeeper. Yeah. My skills as a builder, zoo manager, zoo manager, yep. all the rest of it. See, absolutely we're doing fantastic. Joseph, don't you worry. Look how great he's doing. Oh, there we go. Relocating to Chateau Snack. Edward Leister, I'm glad you're enjoying Planet Zoo. Where were the badges? Did I take him away to be, oh no, he's being transported back. Okay, it's fine. Did he get cured then? I, I assume so, I think so. He must have been taken to the, um, to the, to the vet. Look at that, and now, and now, and now the water cleaning list is just instantly so much better. <laughs> Good stuff, we team. We figured it top out in tip. the end. This is a top That's all that matters. <laughs> top dev tip. Yeah. Clean, clean things. Make sure you have treatment for your water. <laughs> mm, how are our barriers doing? I think not super great. Okay, barriers fine there. Uh, the cleanliness here is not like as good as the platypus one, but that's okay. Mm. We'll get a mechanic in there to fix the barriers. Yeah. This person's so excited. I can't believe I'm in the badger habitat. There's only one yeah. badger. Though. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get some more badgers. I think, oh, no. Uh, no, no. Yeah, because we're, it's because it's we're a challenge mode, not a um, franchise zoo, yeah. right? So we have a 
much more limited pool of badgers to choose to mm -hmm, buy from. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, the bats are doing well. I think the bats are doing well. The bats, I think, are our least problematic mm -hmm. species. Mm -hmm. And we are currently researching enrichment for oh, them. Okay, that's good. And then we can, oh. We got another one! Hell yeah, 25% longevity, doesn't even matter, get in there. Get that badger in there. Get me the Take badger all stat. the badgers. Get me the badger. And then, what was I gonna do? I was gonna check on other vet research. Mm -hmm. Love Planet Zoo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Great stuff, Roy. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. We've all been there, I forgot the amount of lions who leapt over my fences. Oh, that one's a dangerous one though, <laughs> the lions. <laughs> That's a little bit more risk than you'd want. When you, well, I do this sometimes. I'll make a, I'll make a habitat and I'll forget to check that like it's properly secure. Yeah. You know, I'll build hills next oh, to a yeah. barrier or something, and yeah. I'll put some animals, and then they'll just walk out. Yeah. And I'm like, oh well. It's happened whoops, before as well. My bad. Where are, where are we put in some um, raccoons, the new ones from Twilight, and then they just like jumped out. Oh yeah. We forgot that they can climb. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at this. Ooh. We've got bat boxes. Ooh, I really like the the rainy backdrop with this vibe. Nice, it looks cool. It? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, I love bats so much. I went on a holiday with my family this year to the Cotswolds Ooh. and where, where, where the area that we were in is an area called the Cotswolds Water Park. Mm. And it's like, uh, it's, I think it's a national, uh, national park or like a nature reserve area. Mm and they had all these huge nesting boxes for bats to nest in, mm -hmm. and in the evenings, they'd all come out, and they were these like, tiny little pipistrelle oh, bats, and they were all like flying around in the evening. so cool. So sweet. Yeah, I actually didn't know that until the Twilight pack that bats are a lot more friendly than people think. Mm -hmm. like, they're very, they like being around humans as oh, well. Really? Yeah, they're, a lot of, they're very friendly, like the, so in Shetproof, they have like a back, um, what for exhibit there and, oh, yeah. and when they go the through stories. them yeah and they they literally fly around you like Amazing. they're not afraid so bats yeah, are they're so very cool. friendly they're really important for the environment as yeah. well they're like um you can you can kind of, when you see like problems starting with bat populations mm. that's like an indicator of like yeah. deeper environmental yeah. issues so they're like a like a barometer really, yeah I think, good for environmental health. yeah i'm gonna put some more candles in the fattest exhibit this is totally safe don't even worry about it <laughs> Those are some great ra candles to stay lit in the rainstorm. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> heavy duty yeah, candles. Yeah, heavy duty candles, exactly. Looks great. Looks great. Okay, fantastic stuff. They do bat walks in my town. Ooh, that's really cool. Yeah, I feel like Planet Zoo is really interesting because when like some animals that I was never really like fond of, mm -hmm. you kind of see them in the game and then yeah. you realize how like cool they are and yeah. like, how sweet they are. Oh, really so, cool, they're yeah. nice. Because even the armadillo that's coming in the grasslands animal pack, I didn't realize just how cute it looked until Aww. I started seeing it in, in the game. And yeah, I'm very excited for them to come in the game. We love learning to appreciate new animals. It's so good. Yeah. Okay. How are we doing? How do you think? We have, I think we've actually made, we have actually managed to make the zoo better, which yeah. is uh, uncharacteristic for me, but we have actually made it a better zoo and we've made our animals healthier. Yeah. So I'm really pleased with that. Let's have a look and see if there's any more badgers. No, no more badgers, but that's okay. Let's check on the ones that we've got. No, going pretty well. We are having an issue, I think, with food availability yeah. for badgers. I think it might be because the habitat is just big. Yeah, habitat. That, that, why, wh who is not feeling this, filling this up, right? Who is not doing this? Call the keeper. <laughs> well, they're not doing their jobs. Sort it out. <laughs> they're just lazing around. There's a staff room right there. There's a keeper room right there. What oh are you even doing? Goodness. What are you doing? Hmm. Mm. Oh, staff, oh, we're spending quite a lot of staff wages. Mm. <laughs> you fire some people? <laughs> it's not doing their job. 
Maybe if we train some of the ones we have who are yeah. actually doing stuff. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I think we do have like an excess of vendors. What the? Okay, you are a key. Oh, I think you should badges, get though. some training. You should get some training. Oh, you're doing exhibit stuff. You should get some training. Mm -hmm. And you should get some training. Oh, oh wait, they're queue. having to queue to use the uh, workshop. I see. Dang it. Oh, is it because I have two mechanics researching stuff and only one workshop? I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Mm. Okay, you can stop with that and just do your own thing a little bit. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're quite far away as so, well. Uh, it's a long walk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure they're fine. Mm. Okay, so what's the, this is quarantine, mm -hmm. which is miles away from literally everything. So they have a staff room and a keeper room close to there, but yeah. maybe I should move some of this stuff closer. Mm -hmm. That's maybe like the vet surgery. Put that up here. The guest needs to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but but they, they feel overworked, Jens. Yeah, Come on, you know. I think Burton Zoo is Jens. <laughs> Shout out Jens anyway. Shout out Jens. Jens. <laughs> Especially when it comes to overworking. He doesn't do it anymore, but he used to overwork his um, scientists. Oh, right. Back okay, in the day. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. Rewards for me. Ooh. Absolutely incredible recognition. Okay, we should maybe get our education up. Because that yeah, is We the were thing talking that about that earlier, about. actually. Tim Frontier, look, it's Tim, he's visiting us. Oh! Okay, 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 let's have a look at his education level. Has it increased? Wait, that's the, that's the habitat. Wait, that's the frog. That's the frog, <laughs> that's not Tim. That's the... Oh, look at that, 17% education. Oh. Well done, Tim. This is a big moment, because this what happened. Was it, it was 1%. Oh! This is that's a big moment, looking. everyone. That was a good So round of applause to Tim. 17% educated. Yeah, Absolutely great. incredible. Tim is a frog confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tim time. It, yeah. It, it's Tim time, baby. Okay. Now let's educate some of these scrubs. Yeah, we're getting some fancy guests in. Oh yeah. Tim is sixteen percent more educated. I'm really proud of Tim. I think this represents a really yeah. big step forward for him. That's what we yeah. call character development. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what I've got is I do have education boards by all the exhibits, mm. but it's not providing a lot. Oh. Oh, there's loads of new education stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I think we had a lot come in when we did the. Um, this is so cute. So they're like little kids' education things. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one came from the conservation pack. Okay, this is gonna sound like a camel for no reason. Bye, sample text. Thanks for joining us today. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's gonna teach people like camels. To, my know. problem in those games is my spending habits. No matter if it's a zoo or amusement park simulated in the end, I'm always broke and nobody wants to visit my park. <laughs> what do you spend your money on? <laughs> you gotta, you got to spend your money wisely as well as a little bit of fun here and there, but not too much. So the thing, right, so the thing that I have learned actually through doing these streams mm. um, is donation points literally yes, everywhere at yeah, the start. Exactly. Donation points, donation yeah. points, donation points, and then people will start thinking and then yeah. exhibit animals because things like the frogs breed like crazy yeah i make you can, you can sell them i'm pretty sure we make most of our money yeah. The frogs. yeah because we started i think at like five thousand and then we started doing the auto sell mm. and then we started bringing up a lot more money so i'm gonna try and use these like talk points that's no that's not what i want Oh yeah, and then in the new um, update, we had the exhibit. Um, the educators can actually bring out exhibit animals, Ooh, like some yes. some of them. But yes, I think yes. some of them they can't, obviously, because of like poisonous and some things. But yeah, 
That was a pretty cool update. In uh, okay, uh, where is the blame and poison problem? Let me just move this bad boy. Um, I think he is up. If you can't play franchise, I have to create the best for all the animals. <laughs> I feel you on that one. You just want to give them everything, don't you? Okay, and then I need to assign an educator. I don't believe I have any educators, but mm. we do need educators. There we go. Oh, absolutely incredible work. Very nice. Come back, please. I need to <laughs> click on you. <laughs> please. Let me click on you. Oh, they're going to do an animal talk. Yes, 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 Ooh. yes. Frog talk, frog talk. It's the frog talk. Okay, the talk is in March, so she's going to wait oh. there for three years, <laughs> for, for a few months. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, okay. No, it's I'll, January. I'll make it February so it happens sooner. Oh, there okay, go. good. And let's have some Ooh. music. Where is the frog? Is the frozen frog from South America? <gasps> Lo-fi beats. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, look, everyone's gathering around. It's not happening yet. We're going to have... The lo fi falling leaves. Everyone's really early to the, to the talk. <laughs> They're just so excited. Yeah. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Oh. Yeah, we've got to get to the talk. Come on, guys. There's education to be had. Hello, balls. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> There's things to learn. We must learn. Yes. Wow, everyone's like really Everyone's early. so everyone's like, ready to learn. Everyone's like a month early to this animal talk. Yeah. Like, that's dedication right there. Come on, kids, we've got to get to the zoo. Yeah. Let's wait there for a month. Yes, here we go. Ooh. Oh, come on, girl. Teach us, teach Ooh. us, teach us. Are you gonna? <gasps> there oh, it is! Oh, 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 look, look, look! Oh, yeah, look at that bad boy. That's so cool! Just uh, ignore that. <laughs> oh, it just, oh, it, it just it you didn't point. That was amazing. Very cool. This was worth watching, wasn't it, everyone? Yes, it was. Everyone's having a great time. Uh, <laughs> let's just uh, call the vet urgently. <laughs> What? Oh, has she, she got borrow as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. she does have a borrow. <laughs> like, what is that? I was like, what's happening? Oh, they're so cute in the burrow. Oh, that's adorable. Mm. Poor frog. Little potatoes. That's so sweet. Okay. But yeah, I think we can end it for today. Oh, yeah. Oh, it always goes so quickly on yeah, these streams. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. An hour and a half is not that long when you're enjoying that magical emporium of the frogs and snakes and our two badgers <laughs> that, that we won't see anymore but oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> thank you everyone for joining us and thank you so much Philippa for joining You're me welcome. and I love showing me all the so lore fun. and the fun things that are going on in your zoo mm -hmm. everyone remember the badgers and badgers snake and frog emporium and with bats. Now with bats. Yeah. And we will obviously miss Bavo and Var. Rest we in will. peace. We will. Two amazing badger lords that we lost on this stream today. But they will not be they will not be forgotten. We will keep them in our hearts. And if you guys feel like making a badger habitat, make sure to remember them in your hearts when you do. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'd like to thank everyone who joined us today and all the new people who followed. Thank you so much for following. We have streams every Tuesday at, usually it's at 5 um, p.m. GMT. Today we started a little bit earlier so that Philippa could make it because we wanted her to be on the stream today. So, but usually we're at 5 p.m. So make sure to follow all our social media channels so that you can get updates on when we do streams and if things change around. Because sometimes we do um, streams at different times depending on what it is so but our usual streams are at 5 p.m every tuesday so thanks so much for joining us everyone and i'd like to thank all the mods in chat for keeping it down in the chat and making everything welcome and lovely and as well as everyone from the community team thank you tim fran l and jens for helping us on the stream as well as everyone planet zoo thanks so much for joining us and frontier developments as always and we will see you guys next time Thank you. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.